Hey, it's been a long time and today we are gonna deploy our react app using virtual first of all We will be creating our react app then we are gonna do some tiny modifications on that and then we are gonna be Creating our git repository for that and then at the end we are gonna be posting our React app connecting with the github repository so that if we change our code There should be the immediate reflection on our deployed website that's gonna be pretty fun so let's create our website so in here i'm inside a folder first of all here what you want to do is that go to this i think it's uh, called a source bar or a, it's not source bar but you got the point go go here and uh, type in here cmd so that cmd will be open in this directory so let's hit enter cmd open up in this directory you can see that it's in the same directory so let's create our react app right you know how to create the react app right so npm create react app what name i should give this application so maybe virtual app virtual deploy demo long name hit enter now the process is gonna be painfully slow i know so i'm gonna forward this video okay we have our react application now let's go inside our application it's gonna be virtual deploy demo and inside this i'm gonna be opening this application inside a code editor so it's gonna be code dot and this is gonna open up a code editor like this okay so i think uh, it's more visible to you now let's go inside our public and we don't need to change public let's go to source and what i'm gonna do is that first of all let me show you how this app looks like so let me first of all uh, run this application and show it to you okay here you go we have our application and this can be installed like this so this is a progressive web application that can be installed on your desktop or a mobile application isn't that cool that you are installing and running your website as a mobile application that's cool in my opinion but you can change the name also here create react app for example you can change that name going here in the manifest manifest suggestion and here you can see that you can change the name, file name from there but i'm not gonna be doing that i'm gonna be changing only this uh, or let's change that let's change that now it's gonna be partial demo uh partial app yes uh react app deploy sample yes okay done now let's see here yeah personal app deploy sample it's reflecting the changes now let's go to our app.js and let's edit this text right um, 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 um here it is laundry act we don't need this link and here uh, edit shorts app.js and save to reload um it's gonna be my way partial deployed app and that's it we did our changes and now after this i'm gonna create a new github repository github.com slash new so that you can create a new repository directly and repository will be parcel app deploy demo it's a long name but i'm doing that i don't need description it's gonna be private for now yes you can deploy your virtual app even if it um private repository even if it is from the private repository so um, create the repository and you have to copy this but 
um, these days what I found out that our git is already initialized and our commit is already done let me show it to you let me stop this application yes clean this and it's gonna be git status and yes you can see that um, it's already git repository is already initialized and yeah you can see that these files are the modifier files uh, so I'm gonna be copying the command from here or paste it right here and commit will not be first commit it will be more of a change app demo yes now let's hit enter okay boy it's not happening so I'm gonna cancel this uh, I'm gonna write command on my own git um, and it's gonna be change app it's gonna be change boy change app uh name maybe yeah oh boy i have to add all of this so i'm gonna add those two files and then run this command yes commit is done now I have to copy this command whole command and come here and just paste these all commands yes now it's gonna be done boy yeah it's all done all good so let me refresh this space all right we got our website ready here so let's go to the virtual Virtual.com and now we are gonna deploy our that react application now let's create our new project that's gonna be imported from the git repository there you go we have this virtual app demo I'm gonna import that and project name will be the same root directory will be the same build and output setting uh yes it looks fine it looks fine yeah it's already here you can see that uh, preset is already given here so it's create react app so i'm not gonna <laughs> bump my head into this so let's hit deploy directly and it's gonna take pretty much some time to deploy our application right so let's wait for that all right we have our website deployed right here now let's click this and, 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 and yeah we got our website deployed with the virtual and there you go and why we did this pretty long process of creating a git repository and then importing that in here let me show you why it is not a painful job so let me start the server here npm start and it's gonna start the server here so let me do some changes right here my virtual deployer app maybe demo yeah um, demo so here you can see why it is not reflecting didn't i save yeah and demo is right here and in this side we don't have any demo right so let's see how long it does it take to actually reflect the change so let me just come up here and this is a vs code way to do that but i'm gonna show it from the terminal <laughs> so let me clean up this and git add all although there is only one file git commit message what is gonna be demo added wow what a great commit hit enter yes uh, now get post and it should be posting our uh, yeah now we can see the thing see the changes right let me see the changes yeah yeah 19 second second ago and changes are done now let me hit refresh to this website is that gonna be changing no it is not instant cause it takes some time to actually build so let me go to dashboard 
maybe it's building our strike state ready so let me go to the setting and it's isn't it continuous oh <laughs> i forgot from where it is to look at this um integrations yes production branch i don't know about deploy hook parameter branch and deployments let's come up here and yes this one is again ready demo added yeah it already done it automatically done that thing and just look at it in here demo should be added yeah demo should be added yeah demo added just like in a couple of seconds the change was reflected in here and yes these two website looks exactly same so that was the tutorial guys i hope you like this tutorial and let me know in the comment section that what video you wanna watch next 